Chief here, Ryan Sprebus joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Hey, Greta. Okay, so what are the American people saying? You travel the country. I know you talk to mostly Republicans or almost all Republicans, but um, power grab or a strong assertive president? Well, I, I think certainly a power grab. And when you tell your cabinet members that I want you to find ways in order to circumvent the Constitution, the president's forgetting about the fact that the entire basis of this Constitution that made this great country is that the, we, the, the power vests in we, the people. And, and he's forgetting about that. And so. You know, he says, that he, can make, he says he's entitled to it. Everybody else did. Well, look. But, but, you know, but the president takes the cake, though. I mean, he takes the blue ribbon. I mean, he's been struck down over 13 times in the past two years by the Supreme Court, saying that you are overextending your power, that you're not respecting Article I of the Constitution, which grants the power to the House uh, which, and, and, the, and the Senate. And so, look, what this president is doing, I think, flies in the face of the foundation of, of what the basis is of the Constitution. I think John Boehner is absolutely right in his lawsuit against this president. And I do think he's got standing. I think if any person in America, and I understand the injury argument, we're, we're both lawyers, but as, as Speaker of the House, as the person who's directing traffic in Congress and passing, in, in regard to passing these laws, it's his job and his responsibility. And the president wants to be president. He wants to be Speaker of the House. He wants to be Majority Leader of the Senate. And he wants to be the court. Well, he also wants to be the court because he criticizes the Supreme Court all the time. I mean, he certainly does that. And he got his, you know, basically, he got slapped down handsomely last week with two 9 0 decisions against him. But here's, here's what I think I think the president, when in the first two weeks he was president, the first term, he said, I think it was either to Majority Leader Cantor or to John, Senator John McCain, he says, I won in a debate. And I thought he set the tone I won, there. You lost, I won, you it. lost. That he's that he had no intention of working and realizing that you really have to work with Congress. It's not just you know one branch of government. But I thought that was you know that I mean, foreshadowed for a constitutional law war. professor. He certainly forgot about the separation of powers doctrine, which is the most basic junior high, high school concept. But that was a declaration concept, of war. Concept. But listen, and, and there was one of the folks in the panel said that that some of this stuff's a ploy. You know, I don't think it's a ploy. I think actually he intends to try to change the laws of this country on his own. I think he envisions himself in having that kind of power. I think he's going to be as cute and as, in, and, and as clever as he possibly can to do it. And you look at what he's done already on immigration. I mean, so he's gone forward with all these executive actions. He's making, make, given all these speeches. And we've got the, the biggest border crisis that we've had on the border than, than all of us can remember. This is the result of the Obama doctrine. Well, what's taken, if, if Speaker Boehner says that he has a good, strong lawsuit and that he's going to do this, why hasn't he? I mean, you know, where is he? Why hasn't he? I'm not he, filing you know? his papers, but I, <laughs> but, but I certainly think that th th there's, there really is no, no other option with this president. Uh, he doesn't want to work with Congress. Uh, he wants to write the laws with, his, with, his, with the pen and his telephone as he's, as he's threatened the American people. And he obviously doesn't respect the foundation of the Constitution. So what else can you do? Uh, Ron Johnson, senator from Wisconsin, he filed a lawsuit uh, against the president's but then they, overreach. But do these lawsuits linger? Well, I mean, it would be so linger, much better. It would be so much better if they would just talk to but each you know other. But you know what? The well, but yeah, but you have to have a president that actually wants to sit down and, 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 and bang some heads together and get something done. Other presidents have been able to do it. So it's not like this well, is something that suddenly. He, well, you occurred. know, he says he says the Republicans won't work with him, and I think the best example is that President Clinton, who did get things done, they were trying to throw him out of office, and he was still working with them. Well, one of the things that Newt Gingrich did, and one of the things that I think President Clinton did was make sure that whatever they were doing was very public. You, you might remember every day out of the White House when Newt Gingrich would leave, he'd have a press conference right outside the White House every single day. This is a different world. This is a president that views his presidency more as a kingship than it does as bound by Article uh, uh, 2 of the Constitution. And he should read Article 2 of the Constitution. He can find out right then and there what his powers are. Mr. Chairman, nice to see you, sir. All right, thank you. <laughs>